Hello once again. And if my volume was a little bit loud, sorry for it. I just realized my I didn't check my vi my volume for the last couple of days. Videos. So maybe maybe this is this is a better level. I always keep my computer volume on 60. So I don't know if that has anything to do with the microphone volume, but and yes, I'm still drinking my Mountain Dew Energy. <laughs> That's pretty good. That, that, that's an orange one. That's pretty good. And of course, it's still Monday. But this is your Wednesday video. So. How you doing, everybody? Hope the last two days have been going pretty good for you. Hope you had a fun Monday and a, and a great Tuesday. Hope looking forward to a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. And I just, just prior to recording this video, I just went back and posted... Monday's video, so you can tell where how what how my day my things going. So I just got the Monday video posted. So as you can see, what it was Monday. So but I always talk in future and past tense when I'm doing these videos, so it makes it a little more entertain more adjusted. Since I, I tried to do them all at one time, I have to talk like I'm in future tense. Come. Okay. Hey, freaking birds out here. Little white birds with the, the long beaks. They, <laughs> they congregate the areas and they start trying to eat bugs and everything. Oh, there's another one. I've got five of them. It was three, now there's four, and then, then, then the fifth one has come up. What are y'all coming to? I got the sixth one. Oh! Got a whole group coming now. Whoa! Sorry for that. But today is Wednesday, April the 14th. And five more days. And I turn the big five up. And if you haven't seen Monday's video... I'm in there. I'm telling you this weekend. I'm be taking a trip. I'm going. I'm going to where I said I was gonna go because my money's in. I'm gonna be taking a trip up there for a whole week next week. But I'll be. I'll try to get my videos done in a timely manner and get them out for next week. So you just have to bear with me. I probably will not have a video Monday. I'll be probably the first day I mi I miss. But, Tuesday will be a double Devo day. I'll do, I'll do both of them together. Because I don't know where, I, where I'll be at to be able to do it. And if I have the Wi-Fi, if I'll have a Wi-Fi signal to do it with. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to go somewhere where I can record the videos and have a Wi-Fi signal. So, just bear with me next week. You'll have your video. Your videos will be out. But Monday will probably not have a video because depending on what day, Saturday or Sunday, did I go out. Um, it's going to be a multi-hour bus trip. I know I saw one that said 12 hours. Another one said 13. Another one said... Uh, that was one even saying 16 on the weekend that I want to go on this weekend. So I did see that was for a certain amount. And then I went up a few days lower and it was a little bit cheaper. But I think I'm just going to go for the weekend because that's what I want. I want to do it. I want to do it. And then maybe later, sometime in May, maybe after my one year on YouTube maybe I'll do a special have a special birthday party have my 40th birthday party and have a bun and have a few uh, guest stars as you could say and the guest stars will be right there from where I'm going and I also have a, some other another you couple youtubers one that's new to the YouTube videos but she's not new to YouTube herself 
she just got her own channel. I'm talking about uh, Brooks Holt and his girlfriend Alicia Helton. She just started her channel a few weeks ago and she does Sunday Sunday postings once a week. But Brooks does Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos where he put him and her play mini golf at different mini golf centers around the world. So if you're looking for some entertaining mini golf videos, go to his channel and watch them. There, there's some great there's some great mini golf courses around these great United States. So sorry for rambling so long, but I'm in a talkative mood right now, so I want to get Today is Wednesday, April 14th, and video number 324. Today we're going to be having inspiration. We're going to start off with 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. And there's a lesson out there somewhere. I don't remember where I saw it. But they talked about a bunch of other 316s out of the Bible. I don't know where. And, of course, John 316 is one of them. So. But... If I ever find that, I'll let you know about it. I'll put a re I'll come back to this video and put a reference in the description box. Or I'll put a, if I, when I learn how to do links, I'll come in and put a link, or I'll come in and put a a um, thing in the description box about that, about the three sixteen verses and where to find them, or or where the who done the lesson and also but inspiration all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof for correction for instruction in righteousness That's 2 Timothy 3 16 so the Bible insists that its writers were supernaturally influenced by God to such an, an, an extent that the words were given divine accuracy so the unique word translated inspiration in our text, in, in today's verse, could be rendered God blowing or God puffing. P-U-F-F-I-N-G, puffing. And, speak, and Peter speaks of holy men of God who spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. 2 Peter 1, 21. And David was conscious that his own tongue was speaking words that the Holy Spirit of the Lord gave him. 2 Samuel 23, 2. Jeremiah was given audible instruction and told to reproduce those words precisely. Jeremiah 30, 1 and 2, 26, verse 2. And as it was Isaiah in Isaiah 6, 8 through 10, who clearly knew he was being controlled by God. Another verse, Isaiah 59, 21. So these are samplings of twenty of Psalms 2600 claims in the Old Testament for direct inspiration of the text of Scripture. And God used several methods to make sure that his words was puffed out. P-U-F-F-E-D. Puffed out. And on one occasion even wrote them with his own finger on the tab tables of stone twice. Exodus 31, 18 and again 34, verse 1. And those tables of stone we're talking about are the great Ten Commandments. Because you remember, if you remember in the story, after they were written on the stones, Moses was it Moses? I think it was Moses. If I believe right. Um, come down off the mountain with the tablets of stone, the Ten Commandments. And somehow or another, he got mad or something as what was going on, what, what he saw from his people. And dropped them, or threw them down and broke them. But then God brought him out of his anger and wrote him again. Wrote him on two more tablets of stone. And 
dang popcorn. If you want some good popcorn, a popcorn mix, try the Cheetos. Popcorn and crunchy. I think it's called crunch, crunch and pop mix or something like that. It's the Cheetos crunchy bits with the popcorn that has the Cheetos cheese on it. I didn't think I was going to like it when I first got the bag, but it's good. I'm giving you a shout out about that. If you want to try it, try it. You'll like it. You might like it. If you don't, well, but I, I ate some last night and got some of the popcorn, you know, the little pieces that break off the popcorn, got stuck, stuck in my teeth. And now they're trying to, the uh, pieces are coming out. Sorry. So those words were not only inspired, but inscribed. <laughs> so the writings of the 27 books of the New Testament are also full of declarations of God's personal inspiration of the words. And Jesus claimed to speak only what God the Father instructed him to say, John 12, 46 through 50. And Paul knew he was given revelation, Ephesians 3, 3 and 4, and insisted on equivalent standing with God's commands, 1 Thessalonians 2, 13. And Peter demanded remembrance of the apostles' teachings in 2 Peter 3, 1 and 4, and again in 15 and 16. John insisted on the accuracy of what he shared. 1 John 1, 1 through 3. And Jude verified the words of the other apostles. And here's another one they messed up. As you all know, Jude, the book of Jude, is one chapter. So when you list the verses don't ever put the one. Don't ever put chapter one in front of it. Just put verse whatever. If you're listing verses. So this is Jude verse number three. And in verse number 17. I guess with the, with the printing how they do it. With that one they have to do the, the chapter one on it. To get it to come out right. Or to make it look right when you print it. But it's Jude, verse number 3, and verse number 17. And lastly, it seems we are all confronted with an all or nothing proposition. Either all scripture is inspired, or none of it is. Or none of it is. Either it's inspired, or it's not. You take, on one hand, it's inspired on the other it's not so which one you want so which hand you gonna choose you gonna take take the inspired word the words from the the scripture that has been inspired or you're not gonna believe it it's your choice but you better choose right but that's all I have for today's Today's lesson. Tomorrow is Thursday, April the 15th. And just three more days. That'd be tomorrow. Be counting down three days. But today is four days. Yep, four days until the big 4-0. But tomorrow is Thursday, April 15th, we're going to, in video number 325, and we're going to be talking about the trumpet of God. And we're going to be in Exodus 19, verse number 19. I think I'm sunlight's coming in that window, messing my screen up. Sorry about that. So that's what we'll be talking about tomorrow. I'll be getting that in just a few minutes, but you'll be seeing that tomorrow. I love you and I appreciate you. Trust, uh, keep on keeping on and trusting God, and He'll keep you safe in all you do. And pray for me as I go through the rest of the week to 
get get the plan set up. Hopefully, I've already got them set up to take the trip this weekend to where I want to go. And trust me, this weekend I will let you know where I'm going because, as you know, I'll be taking a trip, a bus trip this weekend. I, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and just go with it, go with the bus because my money's in, so I can I can afford it. But how I'm getting back? It's gonna it's gonna be. I don't know how I'm getting back. Maybe I can get somebody to bring me home. Talking about Brooks. Maybe I can get him to bring me home. <laughs> but that's where he's at. If you know where he's at, he's located, then that's where I'm going. That's that's some more clues of where I'm going. <laughs> but I'll try to do a um, Saturday or Sunday if I can if I can talk at the bus thing to let me do it. Maybe for, for about five five or so minutes getting on doing an update but it'll be a live update I may be able to do it off my phone I can't do live stream on YouTube but I may be able to do it do a update on my phone do a live video from the phone so if you if you want to see updates go to my Facebook page this weekend and I have changed my YouTube handle. Where I was just, I'm tired of trying to put links in there or put my name in there for people to look up. And when you look it up, it comes up some other Joe Taylor. So instead of doing that, I went in and just put Falco Joe. That's the name of the channel now. So that, that's what you put. If you're looking for me on Facebook, Put Falco Joe. Or you could put Joe Taylor or, or Falco Joe. Or put Daily Devotions or Daily Devos. Falco Joe Daily Devos. And it'll bring the channel up for you. Or just put Daily Devos and it should it should put any of the tags from any of those uh any of those videos with along with my name it'll bring you to the channel so but sorry for being so long but but I lost my train of thought again but keep um but until then peace out until tomorrow everybody Goodbye, God bless, have a safe, wonderful rest of your Wednesday, and have a safe, wonderful, and awesome rest of your week. Remember, four more days, and I'll turn 40, the big 4-0, woo, and I'm taking a trip for it, so, goodbye.